Okay, welcome to our new video in Head Start, an introduction to financial economics. In the first video, we asked the question, what are financial markets? And uh, this time we're going to focus a little bit more in detail at business finance. Keep in mind, we have a collection of financial economics resources for you, constantly up updated. If you just go to tutortu.net forward slash economics, forward slash collections, for us financial economics, you'll get to our collection of resources. And I'll put a link in the comment section of this video. So we're going to look at business finance. Here's a quick introductory question. Identify three reasons why business might need extra finance. If you want to do, have a press the pause button and think about why a business might need to go to a one or more financial markets to raise extra finance. And then just press play when you've jotted down your three answers. Well, loads of reasons. One could be to finance a startup. Did you know that there are over 500, in fact, well over 600,000 startups founded in the UK every year? Indeed, that figure nearly reached 700,000 in 2019. Divide, dividing by number of days in a year, that's something like 1,800 businesses in the UK founded every single day. And of course, those business, businesses will need some form of finance. Second reason could be to help fund a merger or a takeover. 2019, the value of all of the global mergers and acquisitions, or M&A, all of those deals amounted to just under $4 trillion, a staggeringly high amount of money. Third reason could be to fund investment. Businesses looking to grow, to invest in new capital, new, new technology, build more factories, uh, uh, install more uh, machinery into the production process. That's investment, uh, and so therefore you need to fund that. That's the investment in the UK by businesses has been growing fairly slowly. In fact, in 2019, business investment in the UK grew by just under 2%. Well, those are three motives. Uh, I, when I asked my students, I said, well, what about, what about survival? And that's often a very important instinct and requirement, particularly during these difficult times. Here's an example, the car rental group Hertz has filed for bankruptcy in the United States. Uh, businesses often need finance to avoid closure, particularly during the pandemic and the associated economic crisis. Latin American Airlines filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after a collapse in demand. Many airlines, of course, under severe financial pressure. So finance is important in good times and in very difficult times as well, which raises the question. How can businesses raise extra finance? Again, press the pause button, have a think about this, maybe do a little bit of Google searching, and here's the challenge. Can you come up with, let's say, four ways that businesses can raise extra finance if they need to grow, invest, or perhaps even survive? Just press the play button when you're ready to continue. Well, there's loads of ways that the two main options for businesses, particularly well-established companies, are equity finance. So equity finance is when you raise extra money, fresh capital from your shareholders. And that's through the issue of new shares, which is an ownership of a business, we sometimes call shares stock. And those, those shares carry voting rights. So you might go to your shareholders, perhaps privately owned a business or perhaps listed on the stock market and try to raise share capital or equity finance from the markets. Second option is to travel down the pathway of seeking extra debt finance. So debt finance is when a business borrows money. That money requires paying interest to the lender and the business may also need to provide some security, an asset perhaps, as collateral if that loan is to be offered. Here's a good example of a business having to go to the market. ArcelorMittal is one of the biggest steel makers in the world, actually based in Luxembourg. And uh, the steel maker has tried to raise $2 billion to boost their balance sheet. They're going to issue shares and mandatory convertible bonds contributing $200 million. Many businesses combine equity and debt finance when trying to raise money, a convertible bond is a loan that yields interest, but the bonds, the loan can be converted into a predetermined number of shares in the business at a point in time. Uh, for many businesses, 
especially those who are well established, a big source of finance for their investment, for their growth, is to use retained profits. Retained profit, key term, is the profit kept in the company, kept in the business, rather than paid out to shareholders as the dividend. And for many big businesses especially, that retained profit is a hugely important source of finance. Here's Apple, perhaps one of the most profitable businesses in the world. This is their profit from 2005 through to 2019. And you can see that in the last five to six years, they've essentially been making about a billion pounds of profit every week, building up huge cash uh, surpluses as a result. Uh, many of this money, much of this money is often used by businesses to buy and sell businesses, mergers and acquisitions. I've put together a little Quizlet quiz if you want to have a look at a takeover and merger quiz where the challenge is to match the buyer with the purchased. Have a look if you're a fan of Quizlet, have a look at this link, but we'll also provide the Tutor to You style quiz alongside that on the webpage. And keep in mind, of course, we've still got these collections of study resources on business finance. Now, in the next video, we're going to take a look at the bond market, how businesses use bonds as a way of raising finance.